Well, we're still sitting here with Tandy, and can you believe it? It's starting to rain, so we had to quickly put all our rain covers on. It's not a hard rain just yet, it's a soft, drizzly, wet kind of rain that's just going to make everything damp and eventually start dripping. And it's not very pleasant in this cold weather, I must be honest. So, hopefully, it doesn't get any heavier. If it got any heavier, it's not going to be very pleasant at all out here, but at this stage, everything is covered up, so we're good to go. And Tandy is completely unperturbed by the rain. You can see her tail is still kind of flapping in the breeze, and she's passed out as much as possible with a big, full belly. You can see that round belly that is hanging down between <laughs> the boughs of that tree. So she's got a nice big belly and a very unladylike pose at this stage. So and you can see her paws and the tail and the tail is moving quite a bit because of the wind that is blowing. Right, so Lou and Megan have decided that the winner is Kimmy with the cavalcade of carnivores. So that's how we shall refer to days like today in the future. There we go. So that's how it's going to go. Cavalcade of carnivores is what we will try and seek out as much as possible in the next bit with the Mara. Obviously the Mara will help with that quite a bit and they provide a lot of the, the spotted characters in terms of the cheetah and well lions for them seems to be a lot easier than what we have with our lions here and we've had all the luck with the leopards and the wild dogs so that's okay. It's a nice combination between the two. But I can tell you one thing is that as much as Tandy might be happy up in her tree it is really becoming quite foul out here at the moment. It's the rain that I'm watching coming past me is it's quite funny. It's actually coming horizontally, not vertically down. The wind is blowing so hard that the rain literally is just pounding down from a horizontal angle. It's <laughs> very <laughs> unpleasant. And I once again made a rookie error this morning, I mean this afternoon, because I saw it kind of brightening up before we left and it was not too bad outside. So I thought I'll go with shorts again. Failure of note. I've now had a situation where I'm absolutely freezing and my legs are being pelted with rain and it's just really not gone well at all. And the lack of a door means it's going to be a nice long ride home and a nice wet ride home. So interesting <laughs> journey back to camp. But there you can see paws that have done many a kilometer or a mile. They've been up and down the Sabi sands and have traveled some serious distance through life. So those paws have certainly done a lot. You can imagine in her 10 or 11 years of existence has really done a lot of movement and a lot of trees have been climbed I would imagine with those paws and so she's really done a lot. Now hopefully like I say she is going to move and she's going to reposition herself and come down the tree towards the carcass because the carcass is much lower down and if we get a little bit lower we'll actually see her feeding quite nicely. If she doesn't move well later we will try and get towards the carcass so you can just see her legs of the carcass there hanging down and so if she doesn't we'll, we'll reposition a little bit later and try and actually see the carcass itself but you can see the legs dangling in the breeze and the complete different shape of an antelope's legs as opposed to a predator's with that hoof and the very narrow leg that allows them to be able to position themselves or to be able to run with speed and turn and be quite light but they don't have the power because they don't have to actually pull things down with those legs. James, you say you know the chances of seeing rhino are quite slim, well, especially now it's gotten a little dark. But six out of the magnificent seven in one day really isn't bad at all. And I suppose if we could show rhinos on Juma, we would have been able to maybe pull that off today, um, given that there were some that we actually passed on our travels during the day today. So we would have had all of the seven, but unfortunately, we can only see the rhinos in the Mara and. Today was not our lucky day. We had them yesterday. But so in the last 24 hours, we've had the Magnificent Seven, if we think about it that way. Let's, let's be on the positive side of this life rather than on the negative side. So in 24 hours, we have managed to see the Magnificent Seven plus even hyenas as well. So. Now, these guys are busy talking about it and talking about this kill and they're saying that there's no kill but the guys haven't looked at the base of this wall in the tree itself yeah the kills in the tree jamie and holly right here next to her so <laughs> the guys are 
not able to see the kill at all but the kill is right here as i was just pointing out to them so she does have her kill up the tree which is fantastic news because once it's up the tree it means things like hyenas are not going to be able to rob her and we're going to be able to have a situation to see her for the next few days rather than them sort of eating it and then her disappearing from the area right now I'm going to sit and try and shelter from this cold wind and rain and try and probably hide myself under the rain covers like most of Rusty. And while we do that, I believe Jamie is out and about. I think she's still with the lions at the moment, I would imagine so, given that I think both her and Taylor's lions are fairly hungry. So let's go back to her and see what they're up to and whether they're stalking in the darkness of the Mara.